Hello everyone and welcome to our NXT Halloween Havoc Predictions. I am Slim, joined as always with Joe. Hello Joe. Good night. And joined with Seth. Hello Seth. Hi. Right, so this isn't an actual pay-per-view. This is happening on NXT next week, but... I don't know, they've got title matches and stipulation matches, so I figured, what the hell, why not do it? So, yeah, we'll start off with Rhea Ripley versus Raquel Gonzalez. Who do you have, Joe, and why? I'm going for Gonzalez. Ooh, okay, why? Uh, just, I like the last name, Gonzalez. Okay. okay. Is that like uh, a haunted house too? <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Why do you have Gonzalez on your truck? You're not going to trust your gardening to a name, dude named Smith. <laughs> anyway, Seth, who do you have? Um, Ripley. Ripley? Any reason? Uh, she was the first WUK women's champ. NXT UK Women's Champion. Yes, that's what I said. Get it right. Um, well, I'm going I with... You didn't, because you said WWE UK Women's Champion. It's not WWE, it's NXT Shut UK. Up. that's what this says. That is wrong. Still is. Anyway, I'm going Rhea Ripley because um, she is a lot better than Raquel Gonzalez, and... She should be looking to get back in the women's title hunt, so, yeah. Or she could be coming up in the main roster, who knows. But we will move on to Cameron Grimes versus Dexter Loomis in a Haunted House of Terror match. Don't ask me what the hell that is, I have no clue. Joe, who do you have and why? Um, go on, Dexter. Dexter? Any reason? Or because Dexter's a serial killer? Yeah. That's exactly what I was going off Yeah, I thought you were. Seth, who do you have? Grimes. Grimes? Is that because he's going, To the moon! No. No? Well, he is. It, it, that's nice. It is. It's because, um... That's nice. It, it's very obvious because if you let me speak, he has, you know, what? one of the coolest finishes. Oh, the cave, yeah. I thought you were going to go yeah. off something like Rick Grimes or something. You know. Oh, well, yeah, that too. Well, I'm going Dexter Loomis because not only was um, Cameron Grimes yeah. shit scared of this match when they told him about it on NXT today, um, but... Dexter Loomis is always going to win because he should be going after one of the titles because he is great. Before before we get on to the next match, uh, I have another reason why I picked Grimes. Okay. He was trained by Matt and Jeff Hardy. Okay. Is that because he's from Cameron, North Carolina? Anyway. says... <laughs> <laughs> It's actually above the trainees. Anyway, let's just move on, you know, to Io Shirai vs. Candice LeRae. NXT Women's title is on the line, and it's a spin the wheel, make the deal thing, so it's just a wheel that they spin that determines the stipulation. Who do you have, Joe, and why? Uh, Io Shirai. Io, because you can't. Yep. Yep. Seth? Um, Lorraine. Why? Um, trained by someone called Bill Anderson. Okay, I should just stop asking why for you because you just bring up shit. Um, well, I'm going to go Candice Lorraine because I feel that this spinning the wheel thing is what's going to cost EO. It'll give Candice a way of beating her properly. Not say that she couldn't beat her properly anyway, but you know, it just makes more sense. Um, but we'll now move on to 
Damian Priest defending the North American Championship against Johnny Gargano. Once again, in a spin the wheel, make the we uh, make the deal stipulation thing. Who do you have, Joe, and why? Uh, I'm Johnny. Johnny, why is that? Uh, I don't trust no priest. <laughs> okay, well, pretty much. They're not like ten years old, mate. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Seth, who do you have? <laughs> um, Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Wrestling. Well, it's a whitewash here because I'm also going with Gargano. Um, mostly because if Candice is winning the title, you don't Johnny's want also my winning. reasoning. No, I don't want your reasoning. Johnny is winning the title if my, Candice my is winning the title. My reasoning is because I picked Candice Lorray. Same reasoning as me, then. You could have just said same as you. Anyway. Well, I wasn't listening to what you were saying. Those are the four confirmed matches. There are two unconfirmed matches that I think will be on the show based on what happened today. Um, and I know I'm saying, well, actually, no, these are coming out today anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, those matches are Emma Moon versus Dakota Kai. Who do you have, Joe, and why? Um, I'm going to go Emma Moon. Emma, any reason? Uh, don't know. Don't know, okay. Seth? Uh, um, Moon. No, any reason? She black. Okay, I'm going Ember Moon because, um, well, Dakota Kai attacked her, so Ember should probably get her back. And it's like Ember's second singles match since returning to NXT, so she should also probably win. Because um, I think they want her in the women's title scene anyway, so it doesn't make sense to make her lose. And the other unconfirmed match is Drake Maverick and Killian Dane versus Everrise. It could possibly be a no DQ match due to Maverick getting disqualified for using a chair against them today. Um, but it could also possibly be a trick or treat street fight because it's Halloween and they love doing them. So, Joe, who do you have and why? Uh, Everrise. Everrise, okay. Why? Um, uh, no idea. No idea. Seth, who do you have? Um, Drake Maverick and Big Damo. Okay. Um, I've got them too. What is your reasoning, Seth? Um, because Big Damo. Okay. Well, I've got them because um, Drake Maverick got disqualified for using a chair today. So, when that's all legal, Killian Dane gets a chair. Or at least gets to use Drake Maverick as a weapon anyway. So, you know, they're going to win. And Everrise is... <laughs> Ever is also a jobber tag team. So, yeah, makes sense. But, that's been it for our NXT Halloween Havoc predictions. Um, uh, what do I have to say here? Thanks for watching, like and share our video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, um, follow our Facebook and Twitter, um, links to those will be in the description, um, yeah, thanks for watching, goodbye and good night.